So I'm Professor Ashley Toy. I'm uh, a University of Bristol Professor of Cell Biology and I'm an NHSBT Principal Investigator. And my work is around research, and particularly around the of poiesis and thread cell biology. Clinical trial that's set up to assess whether uh, lab-grown red blood cells, so red cells grown from stem cells in the lab, are similar or better than the, the, a, a donor's own um, blood cells that they produce inside their Okay, so in the lab, we first have to take cells from a donor. So the donor donates normally. We take those cells, we extract out the stem cells that are present in the donation. And everybody has these stem cells, that, and some of them are donated uh, naturally. We take these stem cells, and then we grow them up in a, in a rich uh, growth medium that the cells really like, and it makes them want to become a red blood cell. In fact, it doesn't make them make an actual red blood cell, it makes a very early red blood cell, which is called a reticulocyte. And then when it enters the body, when we transfuse it, it will turn into a red blood cell. So it's a very super new, fresh red blood cell. But effectively, the answer we'll get will tell us, number one, that the cells are at least the same or equivalent to the donated cells. Um, or what we're hoping is actually is because they're so freshly made and ready to go, they'll be better. And if that's true, then this will be a world first because effectively we've, we've taken a cell producing a donor and we've put them into a volunteer who's not related to the donor and they've been matched. But the only other time this has been done in the past is where it's been taken from a, a person and then gone back into that person. So now we've taken it a step further. We've taken it from a donor that's not related. That donor's produced blood and then it's gone into somebody unrelated and, and effectively that's the world first. That's called allogeneic, um, it's effectively an allogeneic transfusion. When you have donated blood, about a quarter of the donated blood is effectively old blood and it gets cleared quickly by your body. So we're giving somebody a whole bunch of new cells and they should last for as long as, uh, as a, a freshly made blood cell does normally. So, they, so that's one benefit. The other benefit is, is if you have lots and lots of transfusions, you, you often have this issue where you become iron overloaded. And so by using freshly made cells, effectively what can happen is, is that you need less transfusions is what we think. And if you need less transfusions, you become less iron overloaded and that will be a benefit to the patient as well. And then the final benefit is at the moment for very rare blood types where there might only be say 10 donors or 20 donors, when those donors donate, we can take the waste products from donation and grow more blood. And so effectively from one donation, the gift gets extended from the donor and it goes into potentially more people. But that's a bit further along the line from where we are at the moment.